Where do I go? Ha! <laughs> I don't want to go to sound check. I want to play in here. Look at this. Look at this. You know this all. Oh, you know what? That would be fun to drive, but I would get in big trouble. I won't tell. Drummers have a reputation, come on, of causing trouble. I am. I I behave. Otherwise, I would be driving that thing. I'd love to drive a Zamboni like at the Molson Center. Let's do this. We're going to be we're going to be uh sharing our little world with everybody here so thank you for doing that by the way yeah jordan said that it was um was yeah. it losing a semitone or something but yeah they were a little off no sense of changing it this all right kit. so go ahead and kit. introduce your kit oh okay how long does it take you to set this bad larry up right. two hours two hours two hours right. to have show ready two hours to have show ready yeah so now a quick description of the kit is that it's set up initially for melody. In other words, when I first did this configuration, I wasn't able to play it. I was not, certainly not able to play fully lefty like this. You know, left foot on the kick and... I was never able to do anything like that. So I had to develop that skill in order to play this this uh, kit was conceived before it was able to be played. I see what you're saying. The tones go from the middle out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the gong drum right now is over there, which causes a few uh, SC joint issues every now and then. You notice the uh, cannon toms or the, the tube drums up here. You see here a collection of clear Remo Emperor heads. They, I don't change. I don't have to change the heads every show or every, even every couple of shows because the uh, the way they made it with the film, they just don't pit or dent anymore like they did, you know, 30 years ago or something. So also, the, this is a Pearl Masterworks drum kit, my very first Masterworks from well over a dozen years ago. The hardware is all Pearl. You can see it's an Icon rack with a bunch of, you know. A bunch of clamps and stands and stuff. The Remo head's working perfectly. I got the P77. So the snare drum has a lot of crack. I like snare drums with crack, like this. You know, I'm, I'm just a sucker for that old Neil Peart sound and uh, Stuart Copeland and stuff like that, but it doesn't quite fit everything I've done in my career yet. I have an array of Zildjian cymbals here. I just want to explain quickly that these symbols are used for melody and they go from low to high. One, two, three, four, five. This tambourine is emanating like the perfect, the perfect thing. And we have a fabulous microphone on it. And speaking of that, um, these microphones here are my babies, my, uh, my sure SM98s. They've been on every record that I do. I don't go anywhere without them. And it's great because they fit in perfectly and they have like a nice, they capture the high end and the depth too. So these are absolutely fantastic, my favorite. And they're all up here, oops. They're all in the, uh, the tube drums too, each one. Beta 98 number one, Beta 98 number two, Beta 98 number three, Beta 98 number four, four. Here it is. So, that's the basic premise of the kit. I've got my wicked pistons, right? My wicked pistons. So when I want to go extra fast, I just choke up a little bit because there's, you know, it would be hard to have all that weight move at that speed. But when I play the songs, and there's a lot of space in these astonishing songs, you know, I can wind up and really blast into the drum, which might distort the camera, but I'll give you a couple of how do you do's? That's a little Steve Smith lick right there. Hi, Steve. Uh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, monitor world. Like, what am I hearing during the show? First of all, this is the Dream Theater uh, standard drummer ear pack, and it says mic on it. So, that works very well for me. And, right? That's, this, is, this has been around for a while, actually. That's been around for a long time. Right here. So, I, think about this for a minute. How am I supposed to play Dream Theater songs, which is, you know, I'm playing a lot of stuff. 
what hand do I have to manipulate this? I don't have many, so Eric has to know kind of face signals from me. Like, this means I know, he's right got to come go. up. I see this here, which Eric decided to, uh, to have me look at as a last thought before I go up and play the drums for the astonishing show. Boom. There it is. Easy the birdie. The golf reflects here, it reflects back, and that's our world. It's an easy birdie.